Hey, what is up guys? This is James Prince and welcome to another Premiere Pro tutorial. This couple of videos will be very interesting because we are going to learn about color correction and color grading. We often get confused about color correction and color grading. So what is color correction is? When you are recording a video, maybe you are recording on a flat profile, then you are not getting any contrast, saturation, sharpness on your video. So when you are doing the color correction, you are actually adjusting the color temperature, you are adjusting shadows, highlights, blacks, white, saturation, etc. But when you are doing color grading, you are applying a look on top of it. Maybe you want a greenish look, maybe you want a orange and teal look. Then you are applying those filter on top of your corrected videos. That is color grading. So we are going to learn about it. First, let's learn how you can color correct the video. So here I have already downloaded a couple of videos for this demonstration. You can download the project from the description below and you can open it on Premiere Pro and you can follow along with me. First, let's take those clips here on the timeline and see how we can color correct this video. This first example, you can see the color is not looking great. It is not looking perfect. You can see there are some bluish tint on this uh, video. There are some greenish tint on this video. So here to adjust the color properly, you need to adjust the color temperature because the color temperature is not correct here on this video. So to do all those things, you need to go to Lumetri color panel. If you don't see this Lumetri color panel, then you have to go window and then you have to enable Lumetri color, this one. Click here, then this panel will appear and from here, you can able to color correct this video. So let's see how we can fix the color temperature issue, right? So in the Lumetri panel, you will see color option and under that you will see white balance and there you will find temperature and tint slider if you move the temperature slider on the yellow side then you see the video is getting good and if you then change the tint slider you will get a perfect color for this video right you can see it is already looking great but by the help of Premiere Pro you can do it automatically so let's reset it if you double click on any slider it will reset on its default value so here on this video we have some reference you can see the wall should look white right the paper on their hand should look white so if you have anything that should look white on your video clips or gray then you can use this eyedropper tool which is white balance you can see there is an eyedropper tool right click on this eyedropper tool and then go here on your video clip and click on this paper that will fix the color issue that will fix the color temperature so if you have any reference on your video that should look white or gray then you can use it to fix the color temperature of your video now let's go to the next clip this is our next clip so here you can see there is a girl and this video is looking so flat there isn't any contrast there isn't any saturation so we need to add some contrast and saturation on this video to look it good here on the Lumetri panel under white balance section you will see light group right under the light group you will see exposure contrast highlight shadow white and black I always start from the bottom which is the black if I drag this black slider it will introduce some contrast on our video and then you can adjust the white you can just click and drag the slider and see what it is doing and when you find it is looking good just stop there i will adjust the shadow a little bit maybe highlights then i will increase the contrast i'll decrease the exposure a little bit i think it is looking great yeah, and just by eyeballing we have adjusted the contrast and the highlights of this video now we need to introduce some saturation on this video just scroll down on this Lumetri color panel and there you will see under creative group you will see adjustment and there you will see saturation and vibrance so from here you can increase the vibrance and saturation slider so what the vibrance slider will do vibrance slider will increase the muted color of your video it will not increase the overall color of your video but if you increase saturation it will increase the color of overall image it will increase the color of muted tone also it will increase the color of saturated tone so for this video i think we need to increase the overall saturation a little bit so i'm just increasing the saturation maybe 106 and then i will increase the vibrance to give it a pop So I think it is looking great if we see the before that is the before and that is the after. So we have color corrected the video and it is looking great. 
let's go to the next clip you can see the saturation of this video is looking great but i think we need to increase the exposure a little bit i will increase the exposure a little bit maybe i'll increase the shadow a little bit and if you find the color temperature is not perfect then you can always adjust the color temperature slider right maybe like this yeah i think it is looking great let's go to the next clip this one this is a cityscape and i think the overall exposure of this cityscape is not looking perfect so we need to increase the exposure of this video maybe we need to increase the contrast a little bit yeah it is looking perfect this is the before and this is the after right and if you find the saturation is looking a little bit high then you can increase or decrease the saturation from here i will decrease the saturation for this clip a little bit so that's it that is how you can color correct the video using your eyes we are not using any vectoroscope we are not using any waveform on our next lesson we will learn how you can color correct the video using vectoroscope and waveform so that is all for today i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have enjoyed this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up and if you are new to this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more video just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye